Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's get into the shows tonight. So Black Ink Crew Chicago is back for season four. Do not feel bad. The fuckery is still in tow. First of all, let me point out that Charmaine and Van both look great. They have lost some weight. And they both look absolutely amazing. I'm sorry to fix this. They look amazing. Um, and I'm glad Charmaine lost her weight. She had put on so much weight. But you know when you first fall in love, like she had with Nick, you do put on weight. And that's just typical. So, hey, it is what it is. So, anyway, um, I'm glad Charmaine finally got herself together with her job because it looks like to me the DJ the DJ thing has is really working out for her. Like she looked like she killing it, and I she sounded like she was jamming it, she was getting it or whatever. But she done got four on at what is considered the biggest concert that Chicago has, um, and he'll go up as a feature. Um, <clears throat> They have, um, I think they call the concert Big Jams. I have family that live in Chicago that used to talk about stuff like this. Um, and other YouTube friends that live in Chicago that has mentioned stuff like this. But anyway, they have Chris Rock, Rick Ross, Lil Woozy, and a couple more people and something like that. But to be featured with them, that's going to put four like, out there. That's going to get him, like, seen. This is the kind of stuff that gets you featured on, like, um, Rick Ross, one of his songs or something. If you get featured on one song, that's the stuff that really gets you discovered. And I'm going to be honest with you. You hear people on Love and Hip Hop every day, and they don't sound as good as Four sounds. I think Four really has something good going, and I kind of like his style and everything. So, I think, you know, this is really good for him. And shout out to Charmaine with your hookup, girl. I was actually surprised. But anyway, for and Nikki, they're still going strong and they're still doing good. No baby. Um, I was waiting to see if she was pregnant yet. Um, Nikki's still in Africa, so Charmaine is spending her time with um, the rest of the team. When she's not working, which is good. I'm glad she's not cheating. I am looking forward to Nick getting back because I think when he comes back, he's going to propose. And I hope she don't hear anything with some girl from Africa just popping up saying that um, she was with Nick and now she's expecting a child. I don't want it to be any kind of situation or anything like that. And I, especially... Since for a change, Charmaine is doing good. And I don't want that to happen to her. So, um, since the Lake House incident with all them talking crazy about um, Kat and Ryan them and Rachel not wanting to feel, film with her and telling, um, saying she's out of nine mad, Ryan is mad at everybody. He felt totally disrespected and whatnot. So apparently he hadn't been talking to him. They ain't heard from him, ain't talked to him. He ain't been there, ain't been showing up. But what can y'all expect? He he, he kicking out all the money for nine man. Y'all and I done said this other reviews. Y'all have paying booth rent. Y'all have be showing up for work. Y'all party when y'all there. Y'all do what y'all wanna do. He is the boss at the end of the day. He is the lease was in his name. He was paying the, the lease on the place. He was doing everything. And y'all being real bad disrespectful. How many times can he say, if I have to choose between Kat and my relationship, I choose my relationship. I choose Rachel. I want Rachel. I want my relationship. And Kat being here is the issue. Because every day when you go in, they steady bringing it up. They steady throwing it in his face. And in order for it to be done with and to be moved on from it, he has to let it go. And if that means no cat in the shop, then there's no cat in the shop. It is what it is. And 
He gonna keep he keep telling y'all that. And if y'all can't comprehend it and let it go, I don't know how dumb you can be. So anyway, they sitting there talking and whatnot about Ryan. Tell me why Dunn is on Snapchat getting a blowjob. And I'm going to be honest with y'all right now. I feel like it was intentional. Because ain't nobody that stupid to be on Snapchat getting no blowjob. Unless they really want their relationship to be over with. I feel like he did it on purpose. I think he wanted his relationship to be over with. Because you can't tell me that he was just that stupid. You can't. He wanted that relationship over with. He did it on purpose so things would end. And I'm going to tell you something. Don't end your relationship for nothing to do with none of these reality shows. Ask Kirk and Rashida and ask some of these other people on these reality shows. Don't give, don't sell out for these producers. Because at the end of the day, when the seasons run out on these shows, all you got is each other. And don't ruin your relationship for it. I'm here to tell you. I'm telling you. Don't give it up. Ask Kirk. He threw his away for what? To be big and so anyway, somebody gonna say, "How you getting a blowjob?" And I listen, you got your socks on, girls. Let me tell you something. When a man keep his socks on and he in your bed and he having sex with you, that means he don't give a crap about you. That means you ain't none to him. That means you ain't even. You ain't nothing. That's like the worst thing a dude can do is keep his socks on while he in the bed with you. That's just so impersonal. That's like basically prostitute sex. Like you just the prostitute. Literally. That's what that means. If you didn't know, now you know. The same for you guys. If she keep her socks on or she just put pull her panties to the side, you don't mean nothing. You ain't even worth the time, okay? Anyway, they get to nine Meg and the sign go, and um, that's your first clue. Where the sign gonna be? They ain't gonna take the sign off unless the place and the clothes will be gone out of business. So they going in, and everything is with the word nine Meg is spray painted and go. All the stuff gone, all the artwork gone, all the paintings gone, anything of any value is gone. Ryan's stuff is gone. Like I said, anything of any value is completely gone. I don't understand why Ryan had to trash the shop the way he did. I immediately knew Ryan did it. It wasn't no surprise to me. Even the the previews was obvious, but it wasn't no surprise to me that he did it. But I didn't see no reason in trashing the place out like that. You could have still painted over the word nine make, took all your artwork and took all your stuff without trash in place. That was just dumb to me. But I'm gonna tell you what, that gunshot hole in the wall meant to him nine meg was dead. And there was no resuscitating. With nine meg uh, mad concerning y'all was it's dead. It's gone and he was done with it. He wasn't here for it, and he was through with it, and it don't get no clearer than that. <laughs> if y'all didn't comprehend that, you never will, because that message was clear as day. Like I said, he that kind of the shot was a bit extreme, but it don't get no clearer than that. Now, this actually and done situation, she mad, hollering, rah rah, and upset, and hurt and crying. But we all know that at the end of the day, after about five more episodes, if not after five more episodes, by the end of the season, they gonna be back together. Because Ashley Love does dirty draws, and he done cheated so many times. I just don't feel like this is gonna be different from any other time. Even if they do actually get divorced, she still at some point is gonna take him back. Because she too jealous not to take him back. She just into him, and she is not going to let him be. All that yipping and yapping she be doing, she and it ain't nothing he can do that's good enough to appease her. And you think she finna let him go and be free of her and not be in his business and boss him around? I think not. So, they'll be back together. Um, but more on that situation later. I mean, we all knew he was going to cheat. Look at the bachelor party. Um, he, that was 
pretty much well uh, a surefire, surefire sign that he was going to cheat. Then I'm going to be all honest with y'all. If y'all pay attention to the show, the, they, the cameraman real petty because they show the cameraman like zooming in when he looking at Charmaine and at the other women. And if you listen to some of the stuff he's saying with them, he halfway saying under... Like, you know he want to say some, but he ain't saying it. Because in front of the camera, he trying to be a changed man. But it's obvious that he ain't. Like, it's all temporary. It's very obvious. So, I mean, it, it was just to be expected. And I don't know why Ashley, honestly, thought just getting married, putting some rings on, was going to make a dude stop cheating. I'm here to tell you. It don't make them stop cheating. All it does is make the relationship harder to get out of. Because now it's more legal. Whereas if he cheated and y'all wasn't married, it would be a lot easier to walk away and get out of. But anyway, they keep on asking where Ryan is. Like, they really can't find him. Y'all know where Ryan hang out. Was he really hiding that hard? Because he was probably at home just not talking to y'all. And I feel like if y'all really wanted to talk to him, y'all could just roll by his house and talk to him. I, so I feel like that was for cameras. I really do. I feel like a lot of that was just for cameras. Because I just feel like if they wanted to talk to him, they could have talked to him. Just that simple. But if they want to just keep faking the funk, y'all go back and watch my old video videos. Y'all know the producers have a habit of messing up this show with editing and stuff. That, that makes you be able to see how scripted it can be. So anyway... They all get together with Charmaine leading a bunch, and she has voted and determined that Van needs to get up with Ryan and go talk to him and find out what's going on with this shot, because they all want Nine Mag back, and they need to get back together to see what his issue is and why he mad or whatnot. So, they are like, no, nah, y'all know my attitude bad, and I can't be getting in no trouble because I'll be done, you know, I'm gonna be done put hands on Ryan basically and be done hitting. So, no, nah, it ain't, it can't beat me. Boy, G is gonna jump the old tank around the field, and she done set up, and she done went all in on Van, and basically was like, you supposed to do this, this, that, and other. And he looked, he, he looking at her, he like, and she got him together, gave him that pep talk, and he's like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm calling, talking around. I'm like, boy, if she don't have you whooped, but that's how it's supposed to be. You ain't whooped, you just being a man for your woman. But anyway, that's what happened when you got a strong black woman. You get, that's how it turned out. But anyway, y'all know, I'm when them two get together, they liable to square up. So I can't blame, blame them because... They supposed to be friends at the end of the day. He really don't want to fight Ryan. And he um don't want to get back in no trouble. <laughs> he trying to break his probation or nothing. Putting hands on Ryan. A little scared. Well, I ain't going to call him scared because Ryan don't mind um, blowing up or whatever. Um. Anyway, moving on. Charmaine, when I tell you when she lost her weight, she looked so good in that dress. And I'm so glad because she don't look like a skank hole no more. She actually looked classy in her dress and she looked clean. And it was so nice to see her one episode with her without her twat, her funky twat in the air looking like it smelled like roadkill. It was nice to see her look better and not look raunchy and nasty. I, I hope she watched last season and seen how disgusting she looked because she looked good tonight. She looked so nice. She looked like she smelled good. She looked clean and, and, and put together and everything. And I hope she looked like that the entire season. Um. So, um. Van and Ryan did finally talk. Ryan was like, yeah, I did it. Uh, excuse me, I'm so tired. Van said, uh, they supposed to be partners and friends and all this stuff. And I'm like, Ryan, and we supposed to be so loyal to each other. Why with this cat situation going on? If I tell you she fired, why y'all keep telling her she coming back to the shop? If I tell you I want my relationship... But y'all keep bringing her back to the shop. Then where was the loyal, loyalty at to me? 
I understand we all supposed to be friends and everything, but I am that nine mad. While we was freezing all, I made the shop, and y'all have to respect what I say. Y'all want to holler, we partners now, but you ain't my partner when I have an issue. You let all the females tell you what to do and, and let them be right in the situation, but you don't want to hear nothing I had to say in the situation. Basically, Ryan owned up to what he did. He never said he was wrong in the situation. Now, it was some lying in the situation, and Kat was trying to lie for the producers and for the cameras. That's why they was telling her to go ahead, Becky. And that's why they jumped, um, that's why Rachel had jumped all over production because they said they weren't even about to pull it and be trying to use them as no pawns and mess up their relationship just for no ratings when they was over there at that one little rental house um, on vacation. But, see, and that's what I like about uh, Rachel. She ain't about to be faking the fun with that stuff she be trying to do. But anyway... <clears throat> Van going on about how he felt let down, but Ryan felt let down. So it's 50-50 to, to me. Y'all done disrespected him. Um, kept bringing up Cat. Y'all don't listen to nothing they say. Van jumping on him all the time and trying to beat him up and all of that over everything that Cat said. And at the end of the day, Ryan is the b boss regardless. That's it. You should have thought about that before you was throwing chips inside his head or whatever. What get, making the smart comments first before the chips was thrown. Because he, the smart comments got the chips thrown. That was last season. If y'all don't know, y'all better get on VH1 and catch up on the little app or whatever. But anyway, then um, Van supporting um, Cat while you was locked up in jail, Van. You missed a lot of stuff. Because let's keep in mind, Cat walked out on Nine Mad. She went and started her own business. She didn't care about Ryan losing money. She wasn't paying no boot rent. She wasn't helping do nothing. And then when she when she couldn't afford her boot rent out there in California, she wanted to come crying and whining and coming back. And she didn't care about coming back because she found out that Ryan was going to be with Rachel and she wanted to break them up. Just like she tried to, she, she done tried to break up every relationship in the shop. Just like she tried to come in between four and Nikki. Just like she tried, uh, she knew that, um, Junior liked Lily. She messed with Lily. This is what Kat do. She is the Donna, like Donna from Black Ink, New York. She is the Donna of the shop. She trying to sleep with everybody. She done sleep with everybody up in the shop. She done even try to get with Danielle. She done mess with everybody in the shop. She is a whore. That's what whores do. So, that's why I guess I have no sympathy for her. She will be okay. She's still, uh, patent, but the truth be told, I would just carry Cobra and Junior with me and go start my own new business. But the problem with this is, only thing is, Cobra finger sticky. It co Cobra, because like you can't be stealing like she took Charmaine shades. Now I didn't believe it at first until they had the fashion show and the watch came up. Charmaine, I mean co Cobra took that too, like Charmaine said. I can't be fooling with that. But I am proud of Ryan for getting on his grown man ish finally because his weight past due. But he been running with Caesar. And him and Caesar that got real close. And if he gonna build an empire and try to spread, he gotta get rid of that dead weight. If you if they can't respect what he's saying and listen to him, because they are nothing but just sucking the life out of him and his business. He can't prosper with them because they're nothing but a bunch of liabilities. So he needs to move on. But anyway. Uh <clears throat> let's see what else happened. Um Ashley, come out. She was sneaking into the house. Was it just me, or was that door already standing wide open when she like opened the storm door? The wooden door is already open. What the production was standing up in there with their cameras already waiting? And she come back. She's sneaking in, but you pull into your house and the door unlocked and open. This is what I be saying. This show so staged and get on my nerves. When they do this show production messes up this show so bad it just takes away from the show because it's too fake for me like i said if you watch some of my other uh shows from last season you'll see where i point out how fake this show be it just gets on my nerves but anyway ashley and don so they done 
they start meeting them and talking. She going on about how many ticks she got, and she got their ticks and all this kind of stuff. I don't mean no harm, but I need more than just ticks because you can get on the computer and send ticks from uh, within another program free online and put in his number and say he t- texts me or she could have been sent the stage where say he texts me here you go to text right here and been sending it to herself and set it up so I need you to send me better receipts I'm gonna need pictures if you said you've been seeing my man over a year give me some snapchats give me some pictures I need better receipts you can't just say I got a couple texts to me that's my husband. You got to give me better receipts. So, as you said, she got receipts. I hope it was some good pictures in there, some good documentation, not just some screenshot, a couple of messages that the girl took this morning with not without a good timeline, some timestamps, some that she can validate that Don was missing. You understand what I'm saying? The text got to coincide with his phone bill, and they got to coincide with a point in time he was missing. I know he said he was going such and such, but he was going, you know what I'm saying? If not, mm -mm. you're going to need something other than that. So in this whole situation, Dunn peed me off because he kind of like, um, had time out. You know how I feel? I can't, uh, be under the same roof my kids at night. Boy, ain't nobody about to have sympathy, sympathy for you throwing away your marriage and your relationship. What was wrong with you? What was you thinking? You crazy. And as you, you better go on and leave him alone. You should have left him alone a long time ago when he cheated. And I cheated like two times. And I ain't gonna say a man that cheats always a cheater. That's not true because if a man want to change, he'll change and he will do right by you. But Don is not trying to change or do right by you. So at what point are you going to make up your mind and decide, okay, look, he don't want to do right. I, I need to go on and and, and move, move ahead. If she go on and date somebody else and try to be happy somewhere else, then he may decide to go on and get it together. And then he come back, but I said I'm sorry. But, I mean, Don, just because you say you sorry, it, she done heard you say you sorry so many times. At this point, is is null and void. But anyway, Ryan, uh, they ain't got to go to the rest of the group to, and tell them that Ryan told them in seven days, um, they locking that place up because the lease is over with. It'll no longer be their place. It'll probably be rented to somebody else or something like that. But it won't be their place anymore. And it is what it is. So now they looking stupid trying to figure out what they going to do. So now they going to have to start being responsible and actually pay a lease somewhere and see all the stuff that Ryan was going through. Get the lights the light bill. And then Ryan left the lights on over there. I wouldn't have left the lights on over there. If the lights are on over there, it's because the building owner have them on. They wouldn't be on in my name still. So, yeah, I caught that. I caught that little bit of tea because the day I got my stuff and left, the next morning when they went walking up in there, like when Charmaine flipped them sw- switches, them switches wouldn't come on unless he was being respectful and letting everybody get their stuff out of there that he didn't wreck before they left, but that was real tacky of him. He shouldn't have went and been um, wrecking other people's booths or nothing, unless it was Katrina. <laughs> but anyway, they all hollering that they thought they uh, Ryan was better than that, but I ain't even trying to hear all of that because it, every one of y'all, Ryan wasn't y'all boy when y'all was team Katrina, so let that be that. And that's all for this episode. This got a little longer than I wanted, but this is a new show, and it was going to be long. The rest of them will be short, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.